there are um, 40 million more women active in the workforce as compared to 10 years ago across the entire Muslim world. In Indonesia, that's 7 million more women. In Pakistan, about the same, 7 million more women. In Turkey, about 2 million more. In Malaysia, 1 million more. And across the entire Arab world, 9 million more women in the workplace. So one um, critical factor is a massive investment has been made on women's education, women and girls' education across the region. Um, there are almost no countries in the region where um, there's any losses happening in women's education. So uh, let's take Saudi Arabia as an example. Um, Ten years ago, out of all of the women that could be in the cohort of being in university, 30% of them were enrolled in universities. Today, 50% of all women that could be in that cohort are enrolled in universities. That is higher than China, higher than India, higher than Brazil. Education has this multiplier effect on families, on communities. We know that educated women spend money differently. They take consumption decisions in the home that are more uh, geared towards education and health of the next generation. But there's something more than that, and that is their aspirations are changing. They want to go into the workplace. They want to be a part of their economies. They don't want to be educated and then not use that education in the workplace. And that's where we're seeing some of the biggest shifts.